I'm 19. I'm 20 years old. I'm 23. I'm 22. I'm 24 and a half. I'm 28. I'm 32. I'm 35. I am 37 years old. I'm 44. I'm 47 years old. <laughs> Lil here is 11 and a half. I'm 52. And this is her daughter, Kai. She's five. I will not lie, I am 81. I'm 71 years old. I'm 49 years old. I'll be 50 years old in September. I'm 12 years old. It's a curious business to think that age is all that important. I think we're all frightened of it. Well, when I was younger, I don't know, they were like, oh, she's so cute. And now when I come there, they don't really say that. I guess, I don't know. I think that, uh, that uh, people think that, that getting older, you lose your energy and you get gray hair and stuff and, and you kind of get unsilly and, 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 and hardened or something. I think people think that. I don't know. I, I don't know why I haven't got like that. Worst thing about growing up? I don't know. They're boring. They just want to sit around and talk about stuff that I don't know. It's boring. I'm not gonna be boring when I grow up. Nope. We have a notion that going through life is a kind of continuum, and that you get smarter and smarter and then all of a sudden you start getting stupid again, you know, what we call senior moments when you can't remember your own name. My experience in life is that all of us grow unevenly and we leave some things behind that we haven't learned. And so that sometimes for some experiences you suddenly feel as if you're back in adolescence. I won't think differently when I'm not any better. Act different. Musically you have to be in the moment and they say all the saints and sages say, to live you have to be in the moment, because the past is gone, the future isn't here, and time was created by people. There were no clocks till a couple hundred years ago. People are surprised because I don't have any gray hair, and I'm almost 50. Is that a stereotype? I think being stereotyped by age happens all the time. The difficulty is, if physically you don't suit the expectations, then it gets doubly confusing. I was six feet tall by the time I was 12. Nobody ever thought I was 12. I was never expected to be 12, except when I was nine. And then I was a sort of clumsy, stupid 12. I suppose I think a lot of the question of value that we put on age is connected to what we think we're doing here. And if we think we're here to be mainly social creatures to fit into a culture, we probably are looking for stereotypes to live up to or live down to. You know, what is a 30-year-old woman supposed to do? What is a 70-year-old woman supposed to be? This is a new development, yes. I am now nearsighted. Uh, this proves that my eyes are falling apart. This proves that age is marching on, of course. These are called corrective lenses. But isn't this the beginning of genetic alteration and everything? You know, as soon as you start to correct what you are, so you can do something that you wouldn't be doing if you couldn't correct it. I don't know. My sense of why I'm here is that to be born is to win the most incredible lottery imaginable. I mean, when you think of all the sperms and all the eggs that don't connect, and you arrive and you get born and you live, there isn't any real need to win any other lottery, but there certainly is a requirement, I think, to spend that amazing luck uh, with a kind of grace and, and responsibility to do something with that life we're given. And then I don't think age plays much of a part in it. The thing, drugs, sex, and rock and roll have kept me young. But that's my joke line. Um, really, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna stop being crazy, no. I am 23. So I just say my age? I'm five. How old are you, Lizzie? I'm 32. I'm three. Lil in dog years is 60. And I'm 101. Ty is 35. I'm 15 months. I'm 16. I can laugh again. I'm 19. And I'm 178. I'm 97. I am 29. I'm 60. I'm 22 and very tall. <laughs> there we go. I'm 525 years old, 10 months, 5 days, 2 hours, 25 minutes. 49 and I'm sticking by there. <laughs> <laughs>